What's up guys, welcome back to Whiteberg City Builds. Today you are joining me on the Passford Way in my town of Woolhampton. Uh, and this is a monumental moment because this is the first time I'm going to complete an actual block within the town. That's a block of buildings, so four streets have formed this place. We've got the streets of Passford Way, Bridge Street, which you may have seen in another time lapse video I've done. The passage which uh, runs along the back uh, parallel to this road and then canal walk which we did in our last episode you're seeing here i'm starting to build a, a sandstone building right next door to the white imperial palace this building itself is going to be the national bank of whiteberg so we'll get into a little bit of lore on that later on i just want to start by saying yeah the, the first episode of this really did well and i really enjoyed doing it it was definitely a pilot episode so I'm going to make some changes throughout this one and subsequent episodes, but I really think it did well. Okay, so the building itself in question is a Victorian styled bank built in the Italianate uh, sort of st style of architecture, that's all I can really call it. Uh, you'll notice it's, it's lots of sandstone, lots of yellow stuff. So Minecraft doesn't have a yellow brick variant, it only has the red bricks and the stone bricks. And I guess never bricks count, but you, I don't really use those for blocks. In order to achieve what I need to achieve with this building, so this building's based on a bank in the town of Basingstoke, uh, you can see it's definitely got these yellow bricks. So to do that, I'm going to be using birch planks. I know, it's a scary thought to fit wood on the outside of a, a brick building. And I thought that at first as well, but once I started building it, it really did start to work, and it shocked me as well. So that's a technique you guys can use for that. Anyway, I just want to get on to a bit of background as to why I've started this series and where we're going to take the town itself. So the series is, is midway through the construction of the centre of Wolhampton. I know I didn't start it straight away, and that's because I didn't really know what I was doing with this project. I was started off by just making time-lapse videos, and I thought that would be good enough. However, I've come to realise I want to show you more about what I do and how I build than just a time lapse of everything. So this is where this Let's Build series has come from. Later on in the, well, in the new year, in 2020, I'll be doing a Let's Build Dernston. So Dernston will be the first town I'm going to start on camera, plan it out completely that way without you know any sort of behind the scenes gubbins going on. And I think that's going to work quite well to help you guys connect with my project itself. But for now, you're stuck with me in Wolhampton. And the idea of Wolhampton is we're building our way from the Market Square. Again, I'm going to keep plugging my videos. Another time lapse on that you can check out. From the Market Square, I then moved on to the Mayor's Mansion. After the Mayor's Mansion, it was Bridge Street. So it's all leading down. And then from Bridge Street, we went round onto Canal Walk, which has brought us back up here onto Passford Way. Um, I'm sitting sort of in and out of the graveyard here on Passford Way. The church is right behind me. So you may have seen the title of this video, which is going to be Church Park. And we will get on to building the church park in the second half of this video. And I just want to say that the idea is we're, I'm working my way from the Market Square round this area and back up onto the High Street. So the High Street is going to be the main focus of a lot of my builds from, you know, in a couple of episodes time. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much where I'm taking this series. So if you guys want to stick along for the journey, then go right ahead. But yeah, now back to the actual bank we're building here. We've got the ground floors done, and I think it's now time to jump into a time lapse of the upper floor. Just starting out here with the birch, you can see it definitely has this sort of sandy coloured brick to it. So I think it works quite well. The upper floors, it's, it's got uh, two extra floors on top of it with nice high windows. You've got hoods over the windows to form a made out of sandstone. And it, uh, to date, actually, to date, it is the tallest building in Wolhampton. Only because it sits on top of a hill. And it's slightly taller than the church, I believe, because the church is lower down. And the key features here, as I said, were the Italianate Victorian architectural movement. Lots of sandstone, a very shallow hipped roof and you've got these chimneys that have this fancy detailing around the top. Uh, this is actually one of my favourite views of the city at the moment. You can see the, the graveyard there coming into view, you've got the password water over there and the backs of these houses here. It is really starting to come together as a nice detailed little town. Moving around to the back of this build, you're going to start to learn how much I love the backs of buildings. Uh, you can see there the back of the canal terraced 
and the the bank isn't going to be any different. The back in the bank, the back of the bank. Try saying that too fast. The back of the bank is also going to have similar sort of detailing. I like to, uh, I guess it's sort of terraced the back, so we have different levels. It just makes it feel a bit more uh, unique rather than just a flat wall. Putting the similar sort of roof on as we've got on the main structure and adding a couple of drain pipes down to make it feel a bit more realistic. And that's the first National Bank of Whiteburg constructed here. A little bit on this building. We will also be building this throughout many other towns in the world, well in the country of Whiteburg, hence why it's a National Bank. There will also be a bank of Wolverhampton and a bank of I don't know, any other town we end up building. So just having a little fly around what we've built so far, you can see Bridge Street directly below me here, which we've built previously. Uh, and there's another little island over there that I'm gonna sort of think about putting a monument on again. I know, I love monuments and islands. Wait for my 500 subscriber special on that one. And coming back up the canal walk here, which was our last week's episode, I'm gonna take us on to the next location for filming, this. This scrubby little backwater bit of land in between the church and the high street and canal walk. Uh, so this is going to become Church Park, a nice place for people to relax, you know, have legible experiences. Not pleasurable, legible. I don't think it's a word. And just a nice place to stroll between the hustle and bustle of the high street and the more tranquil area of canal walk. And it's, it's definitely a nice central location and I've always thought of this place as a park. So, harping back to my inspiration for this town, Limington. Now, Limington has a park located next to the church, along with a graveyard. And Church Park, for me, was always a place I would wander through and have a look. And that's kind of what I want to recreate here as well. And the fact that Canal Walk carries on directly through the middle of the park as well. And if you saw my 400 subscriber special video, you'll realize I'm carrying a road down underneath a bridge. And that bridge is actually, well, sorry, that road is Canal Walk as well. So it, it extends across the entirety of this. Church Park will be split into upper and lower Church Park. The upper section sits next to the church itself. And this will hold all sorts of formal functions of the church. It will be, I don't know, the Easter place. Easter place? Easter bunny place? Who knows what they do in this town. Um, and the lower section is more for the public to roam free in, have fun, have a picnic, have just parties and music concerts and stuff like that. Although I'm not entirely sure they would be doing that in 1912. I reckon a bandstand may actually go amiss if we... We should probably put a bandstand in somewhere. So starting on the actual paths and detailing of the park now you haven't seen me build a park yet which is quite interesting i i do it quite regularly i do enjoy building parks parks and towns really go hand in hand because you need that greenery you need scenery and places to walk and vistas to be able to be seen through parks i know i'm saying it like it's a this must be done but to me if a park doesn't exist in a town the town would be lifeless soulless and just destroyed ultimately because if you haven't got somewhere to go and just stroll through some trees and see the sunshine and all of that, then yeah, your town is dead. Anyway, that's just my opinion on it all. And we'll see when I come around to building other towns. I will always focus on having a green or some trees along roads or anything like that just to give this nice vista. When you look down the street, you see the houses and the buildings and, and the, the man-made structures looking through the trees. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm coming across as some sort of lecturer here. I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm just having some fun while making Minecraft videos. But now anyway, let's get into a time lapse of me building the actual part of this park.
those trees you saw me placing in there as the avenue of trees I built many many years ago and used on several different cities throughout the time but I, I thought for this area they, they work so well flying backwards through it you can just see they may look exactly the same but that's the idea they've all been cut the same they've all been shaped in the same way so guys that's pretty much it I have for this video today uh, stick around to the end to see a cinematic of what we've built and I just want to say next week we'll be doing Passford Terraced. So Passford Terraced is a row of houses that sit in front of Passford Lake, as does, you know, like we do with the Canal Walk. But this time I'm going to try a few different styles, some brick, some sandstone, and also stick another pub on the corner. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.